Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Today in my kitchen, I am getting ready for a bridesmaid's brunch for tomorrow for my goddaughter slash cousin, sweet Sarah. So a couple of her bridesmaids are vegan, which means no animal products. So I wanted to have something here that they could eat and enjoy just like the rest of them. Um, that would be something that this conducive to their diet. I have never done this before. So I actually went through Pinterest and kind of looked up vegan recipes and I found a vegan pumpkin muffin recipe. So I'm gonna share that with y'all. Good morning, hey Opa, how are you? Um, and hey Diane, I'm gonna tilt this down. Um, you know, when I started thinking about did I have anything in my repertoire for uh, vegan anything, I didn't. So I had to go on the internet, check it out. Anyway, into this bowl, I'm going to pour my wet ingredients, which is, I took two bananas and pureed them in my little mincer thingy. I'm gonna put that in here. I also have one fourth cup, that's my oven getting ready, um, one fourth cup of unsweetened applesauce. Did y'all know that these little cups is actually one fourth? Yeah, like I checked it. Anyway, one fourth cup of unsweetened applesauce. One cup of pureed pumpkin. And one fourth cup of unsweetened almond milk. So that's all going in there. And then I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a stir. Now, before I went live, I went ahead and measured my dry ingredients. My dry ingredients are one and a half cups of whole wheat flour. Happy Halloween to you too, Kathy. Uh, whole wheat flour, one and a half cups, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, a fourth teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg, a fourth teaspoon of cloves, and a fourth teaspoon of ginger. And then I put in three-fourths cup of brown sugar into this bowl and just kind of gave it a little zhuzh with my, with my uh, whisk. I'm sure I'm in a minority, but I do not like them. Oh, Rhonda, yeah, I, listen, I like pumpkin anything, but some people don't, and that's okay. I'm gonna add my dry ingredients to my wet ingredients. And you know with muffins, you don't wanna over mix. So I'm gonna mix this just until it's blended. Y'all can see. I can smell all of those, all of those seasonings in it. The cloves and the cinnamon and the nutmeg and the ginger. So I'm just gonna blend this, you know, stir this until it's blended. That looks to be pretty blended there. Let me get those bananas in there. There we go. Okay, I am gonna put these in mini muffin tins and I'm gonna bake them on 350. Now the recipe that I looked up says 350 for 18 minutes, but of course since they're smaller mini muffins, I won't be baking them that long. So I'll just kind of have to watch them. Um, anyway, I will show y'all what they look like um, and I'll post a picture underneath this log, and I'll let you know how they taste. Of course, I'm gonna taste one. And also, I'll come back in a little bit because I'm gonna do that like one, two, three, the three uh, ingredient um, chocolate chip pumpkin muffins as well um, for the um, bridesmaids brunch. So I'll show y'all what I'm doing with that too. Happy Halloween to y'all, and listen, thanks for joining in, and I will see y'all in just a few minutes. Y'all take care. Bye.